New Ukrainian artillery attacks were registered in the center of Donetsk on Monday, leaving at least five dead and 16 wounded. One of the dead is a 13-year-old boy. Two elementary schools were the hardest hit. Our special envoy, Alejandro Kirk, was there. Two other people were wounded. The Ukrainian attack with NATO 155 mm shells took place at about 10.30 a.m. when the school was busy with parents and teachers. My name is Vladimir. I was sitting on the balcony at the time this was happening, and it collapsed in such a way that I had to run and get a bucket of water because it was really scary. I looked out the window and there was smoke. It's coming from this side and they called from the parking lot saying my car was on fire. I went to look, I went inside, and you see I have a mass buried in there. I can't understand combat actions and everything, but when our guys shoot, they don't shoot civilians. They don't shoot hitting under the gold trenches of a tank. This is school number 22 in central Donetsk. Uh, hit also by a 155 millimeter shell uh, carrying the NATO serial number. It's a NATO standard weapon given recently to the Ukrainian forces by the Western countries. Two schools hit at the same time on a Monday morning can be no mistake. This is the kind of sneak attack, which I will call terrorism. Terrorists fire and hit from everybody. And what kind of ammunition was used? With the expert that they mind that, we understand that it was heavy artillery and multiple rocket launchers. In addition to the old school here, also School 5, the gymnasium and the presidential quarters were also involved today. It is the city center itself, you see it, and you realize that there are no military facilities. There is no military position here. The military that have appeared are the ones that have to provide security, first aid, evacuate the wounded. That's it for now. Over to you. Napoli Rescue.